Exodus chapter 40 is a, is a marking place. It's the last chapter of Exodus, but it's also, well, it's a time and a place when they're finally going to set up the tabernacle and begin to have this kind of public place to worship. It's been one year since the Israelites have left the bondage in Egypt. Aaron and all his sons and the priests have been purified. They're ready to serve. The tabernacle has been set up and the glory of the Lord will descend upon it. And this year has passed now since they left Egypt and find themselves now having come all through these experiences to a place where everything the Lord has asked them to do is ready for them to enter in and begin to worship in the tabernacle. It's, it's a great story. It's a great picture. It's an amazing journey of looking back over a year and seeing not only what the Lord has done, what, but also what they have done to prepare themselves to follow the Lord, to honor the Lord, to trust the Lord, and to serve the Lord. And I think it's maybe something that you and I could look at and read and say, you know, it's good to look back and say, what really changed in my life over the last year? Have I really grown and matured? Do I find myself you know, being used by God or serving the Lord? That's what's happening in Exodus chapter 40, the last chapter, a year since they left Egypt, and a time to not only look back, but also to look forward as they prepare themselves to begin worshiping in the tabernacle. What's changed in your life over a year? What are you stepping into this year that's different from last year? How have you served the Lord, honored the Lord, and what has the Lord done in your life? This is kind of a measuring stick for those in Israel and one for you and I to not forget that we're to continue to grow and change and not only see what God is doing, but what we are doing to honor Him. Exodus chapter 40.